So earlier today, I covered the patch notes of the hotfix of 1.0.3. I actually got these from their Discord where it didn't have their director's notes attached to them. I made my video. I then went back on Twitter about an hour ago, read back through the official ones and noticed at the very bottom, the actual ones I used in my video, me not reading these, that they said this. Last but not least, we are planning to skip the patch next week for the upcoming 5th week update on August 1st. Please look forward to the new descendant Luna and ultimate Valby. New intercept battles, new ultimate weapons, modules, external components and skins on August 1st. How did I miss that they confirmed this? I'm such an idiot people, I do apologise. Now before we do go any further, to say a massive thank you for the great support I've had on this game, I'm giving away Ultimate Descendants to you guys, and as you know, unlike some, my giveaways are actually real. So I will pick one person on a weekly basis who supports what I do by liking and commenting on my videos. The more I see you, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will announce them at the end of the week on my videos. Also guys, join my Discord, link down below, let's build an amazing First Descendant army okay so yes i'd like to apologize about how i didn't mention this earlier this is absolutely massive in regards to we are getting to what are basically brand new descendants ultimate valby or we all knew was going to come anyway due to basically all descendants getting an ultimate version sooner or later but a new descendant of luna this is incredible now luna was teased a while back but i know many many people like myself for the majority of the time don't pay much attention to absolutely everything in regards to news drops on this game. It's definitely something I'm going to do from now on though. So Luna is actually an NPC. Well, actually now she ain't an NPC, but she is a player or a character you see while playing and completing the First Descendants story. Now you will come across her in a short little dress, ass all showing all sorts. But she does seem very, very unique and when you first see her, you get that true, true impression that she will eventually be a descendant, a playable descendant and she is, she is coming on August 1st. So what do we actually know about her? Well, not much in regards to how she will play in game. I mean, that's all a surprise I cannot wait to find out on. And there's a little bit of information here. She's called Luna, the mad artist and her skills will be themed around music which is which seems very very unique i ain't saying this hasn't been done before but for me and the games i've played i haven't seen it before and yes that means i haven't played warframe and experienced octavia but i do know of her i know that she turns bass beats and melody into a symphony of devastation but again i didn't really play warframe that much so I didn't get too far into it. So for me, Luna seems like she's going to be a very, very unique character. But even still, she's still unique either way. And I know now I'm going to see so many comments in the comment section of people reminding me of other game characters that are based around music. And I'm going to be sitting there thinking, how did I forget that? How did I forget him? How did I forget her? My bad people, my bad. Okay, so back to Luna. Now, Luna, you will come across playing the story. I mean, I've seen and progressed past her. I'm not sure now if she's on another region, but when you do see her, she's standing there dancing around in Albion with her headphones on. But when you speak to her, you get this, what you're seeing on screen now, with a little bit of text in regards to her and what she's all about. And it states, it is unknown whether her RK abilities were awoken by her passion for music or whether her passion for music was ignited by her RK abilities, but what is certain is that she's unparalleled when it comes to music and dancing. Now I also guys scoured the internet to get any more information on her, and although I couldn't get much information, I did come across a video which was floating around on Reddit and I also saw it on TikTok too. I managed to get my hands on it guys and you're seeing it on screen now, and it shows you this uh, new descendant character, uh, basically in a way we haven't seen her before, dancing, flipping around what looks like a microphone kind of gun looking very very cool no doubt shooting at those sound waves by the looks of it so along those lines but yes information on luna is definitely scarce but i cannot wait to learn more about her that is for sure and we all know the grind for her it's going to be absolutely ridiculous it is what it is guys the first descendant you gotta love it you gotta love it 
Now, what I also found when trying to research Luna and what she's up to um, was this actual roadmap. There's a couple of these roadmaps. I'm not sure which one is legit, but they all point out the exact same thing. Uh, this one you'll see on the screen now with a global launch. And it seems to make sense in regards to it stating here that new descendant of Luna. We get a new Colossus Gluttony, who looks absolutely terrifying. We get the new Ultimate Valby, which has been confirmed. A new ultimate weapon and it also states new skin. And they've more or less confirmed this guys with them saying a new descendant of Luna, ultimate Valby, new intercept battles, new ultimate weapons, modules, external components and skins on August 1st. So that is very, very cool indeed. I don't know how I missed this. I really don't. We also see there season one, late August. We're getting three updates within this. It's called the invasion. And we also see many other details too. And we also see season two, early December. Now that is a chunk of distance away. I'm not gonna lie, actually what we are now we're almost in August. So yeah, it's not too far away, I guess, but even still guys, that late August update, that late August season inclusion better be great. I'm just loving the amount of content it does seem as though these updates are bringing with new descendants in each one, as well as new descendants though. That's what we love to see. Now, in regards to Ultimate Valby, this is a, I think it's a character many, many people cannot wait for. Me, personally, I ain't a massive fan. I mean, I like Bonnie. I like Ultimate Bonnie. I've given a few other characters a try, but I just like the way how quick Bonnie is. Valby, though, does seem like she's pretty nifty on her feet, too. The Ultimate version, I cannot wait to see what she offers. It's just a grind for these characters. That kind of puts me off, I won't lie to you. So I'm going to go for an Ultimate character. It's Bonnie I'm actually working on right now. But Ultimate Valby may be on that list. We will see, people. Now, in regards to new Ultimate Weapons, Modules, External Components, and Skins that arrive on August 1st, no other information I've seen has jotted down what any of these are. So there's definitely a surprise to come. New Ultimate Weapons and Modules, I'm definitely looking forward to. The Skins, it could be. I mean, that roadmap says a skin. Uh, but if there's multiple skins, I think there's going to be multiple skins. I mean, it'd be stupid not to add in multiple skins, to be honest, because some of the skins already in the game are pretty cool. So if they're adding some badass ones, I'm pretty sure people are going to be splashing that cash at the screen. Unless you can earn them, they probably will add in earnable skins too. Who knows, guys? Who knows? But yes, I just wanted to make a video talking about Luna and Ultimate Valby. I apologize again. I missed it on the patch notes earlier. I don't know how I did. I was so surprised looking back at it and thinking, how did I miss that? Problem was with me, I rushed to get that video out, so I went off the Discord patch notes, which didn't include the director's additional comments. So yeah, I apologise again. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. Tell me your thoughts about Luna down below and Ultimate Velby. Are you looking forward to them? Let me know. Guys, again, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.